February 24th, and you're watching the NBA Show! <laughs> Remember to subscribe to us on iTunes. Tom, what's our, what's our headline this week? They have finally done it. What have they done? <laughs> Scientists at Harvard have finally condensed the entire HBS MBA program into one drunken week. How, how have they achieved this miracle of technology, Tom? Increase the price. <laughs> so we discovered this when actually the Crimson are in the article. That's right. Tyra Banks has enrolled at HBS. <laughs> and the average MBA just became 1% more attractive. <laughs> So, and after Prince yeah. enrolls next year, the average MBA will be 1% more flamboyant. <laughs> so Tyra is in the executive owner, sorry, the owner slash president executive education program. And that program is actually a three-year program, but you only spend three weeks on campus, one week spread out over three years. And the cost for that first week is a whopping $31,000 for that, oh. for that it hurts. single week. It hurts. It hurts my wallet. Uh. <laughs> You know what this does, Tom? <laughs> you know, this makes the full-time MBA program the discount MBA. <laughs> so we're getting the bargain basement education <laughs> yes, here yes, at Amir yes. at so, 30 So here, let's, let's, let's advertise the, this, uh, the owner, president, exec program real quick. Okay. okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> Dear super successful business person, do you already own two hit television shows? Does your dog need a second diamond necklace? <laughs> Do you make omelets out of organic, free-range Fabergé eggs? Well, then the Harvard Executive Owner President <laughs> MBA program is for you. you. <laughs> but seriously, why is Tyra, why is Tyra Banks getting an MBA? I think it's perfectly obvious. Obviously, she wants to go into investment banking. <laughs> to be a, wants to be a junior analyst at Merrill. <laughs> It's the only thing that makes sense. So this one, it, it basically, this completely baffles yes, us. Yes, yes. But speaking of successful businesswomen, yep. our guest on the show today teaches consultants at Boston Consulting Group, among other companies, how to enhance their communication prowess. Please welcome to the show, MBA's Ali Friedman. Awesome. Cool. So, uh, so uh, you so you travel around the country working with BCG and other con and other companies helping MBAs work on their 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 presence and communication skills. I do. Wow. So I'm uh, you know I'm on the internet. So obviously <laughs> I don't need any help with my communication skills. But we've got Tom. What's wrong with me? <laughs> He's also on the internet. That's true. Oh no. We're all oh, very no. impressed with your with your internet qualifications, Piero. So what so what kind of advice do you find yourself frequently giving to help to help folks out? Well, most people think they do okay when they're talking to other people and in general they do, but when people take a closer look at themselves, like put themselves on video, you can see things that get in the way with with how you present yourself to other people. So a common thing people don't think about much, which is is pretty simple, is how you say your name. Oh, that's interesting. I wouldn't. What? What? Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't think of that as being such a big. That sounds like a small thing. Yeah. Like Aren't how... I an expert in my own name already? You probably know your own name already. <laughs> in fact, I actually I keep it written on my arm just in case. <laughs> and then you know I, I have the, uh, the the rest of my brand over here. <laughs> yeah. So that's one way to remember your name and have other people remember yes, it. Yes, yes. But often when you meet people, you don't remember their name two seconds after you meet them. Yes, and, I have that problem. Big and, problem. And for you me. can help other people with that by introducing yourself understandably. So, for example, if I were to meet you for the first time and I said, Hi, I'm Allie Friedman. I'd say, Hi, I'm Miro Kazakov. And I would have no idea what was your first name, what was your. I heard Miro Kazakov. Huh. I don't know. I, probably in our interaction, I just wouldn't use your name at all. That explains so much. <laughs> yeah. So if you and you can't give out your business card to pick up dates, Miro. <laughs> I've tried, and no, I cannot. We're gonna have to work on name delivery. Well, the nice thing is, once people get it, I you know, I, but I you know I can't you're right I can't remember other people's names, and now I realize people can't even maybe even understand where you know where my name starts and ends. All right. So and so what should people do? Slow down. I generally tell people to follow the the mantra of my name is, click pause, strong, stronger. So strong's your first name, stronger, that's your last name. So you get a pause, my name is pause, strong, pause, stronger, and you really say it so people can remember it. So hi. Hello, sir. My name is Miro Kaz. 
Jessica! <laughs> Jesus Christ. It'll get more natural in time. <laughs> I think I scared myself, actually. The whole cafeteria just, just turned and looked just like, Everybody's who, was, like who, who wasn't watching. My God, right. who is that guy? <laughs> okay, okay. Give him so, a job. So over time, that will become more natural. <laughs> so it takes a little bit of practice. But that's a great tip to, like, you know, to make that clear pause. Um, you know, and so you, you give all these kinds of tips. Like, how does an MBA end up doing this kind of work? Well, before I went to business school, I was in education on the K through 12 end of things. And then when I got to business school, I realized I wanted to stay in education. And I actually got an uh, MED, a Master's of Education, at Michigan, where I went. An MBA is not the one be all end all degree to solve all <laughs> problems in the entire universe? It is if you add an I'm MED shocked. to it. <laughs> if you add the MED, then it's the be all end all. And from there, I've been in training in one shape or another, and I've landed in communications training, kind of by chance. Interesting. So well, let me, can I go back a little bit? Yeah. About the name thing. So I get why saying your name is important, but is it really that important? I mean, so like we go into the, the sacred halls of the Boston Consulting Group, and there's all these new, super smart consultants getting ready to go out there, and they're, they're, you know, they're behind a closed door going, Miro Kazakov, Miro Kazakov. Mirror, I, it's kind of freaking me I, out, I, actually. I hope they are. That would be awesome. We don't spend tons of time drilling the name yeah. into your head. That's one example of something to think about that you can easily use, but there's so many from just... What kind of body language do you use? Are you playing with your ring when you're talking to people? Oh, that's a big one. It's a big one for me, too. I have two rings, so it's twice as a problem. So you just have both your hands Yeah, exactly. Going, right. So there's we look at all different kind of things. It's, both how you introduce yourself, you, know, you have how long it takes to make a first impression, seven to ten seconds, something yep. like that. So saying your name is pretty important. It's in the first seven to ten <laughs> seconds usually. Okay. Well, speaking of making a good impression, our jargon this week comes to us from Ali as well, and that is upspeak. So Ali, what is upspeak? Upspeak is a term used for the intonation you use when you end your statements with a question mark rather than a period. Not your questions, but the statements you say. So if I said, hi, I'm Ali Friedman, and I'm happy to be Are you on your sure show. that's your name? <laughs> Are you <laughs> sure? Well, we, we know that you're not sure whether or not you're happy to be here. <laughs> and the issue is when you use upspeak, or sometimes it's called uptick, it's not a sign of strength, especially in American business. Huh. So is this, I mean, is this going to prevent people from getting jobs? It could. If, if it's between someone who comes across sounding confident or someone who says, I really like, want to work, I really want to work for your company, so <laughs> like, please give I me a I want to work here. <laughs> I'm extra confident. Yeah. It, it, I love the Boston <laughs> Consulting Group. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They don't do that over at BCG. So, so because suppose somebody this. has this problem. Yep. How do you fix it? Generally, we work on saying every sentence and really thinking about putting a period at the end of that sentence, saying it as a declarative statement, thinking about a period at the end of the statement. So I want to work at the Boston Consulting Group, period. There you go. All right. I'm pleased to meet you. That's not true. That's, that's not true at all. <laughs> it doesn't work if it's a lie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you've got to be genuine. That's so our business school tip of the week is an acronym, actually speaking of names to help you out remembering names, and that acronym is indeed NAMES. You want to walk us. You want to <laughs> yeah. walk us through this. Right. So often when you meet people, you don't remember their name. A few seconds yes, after you meet them. Yes, I have this them. problem. Big problem. And this is a way to help you do that. So for each of these, each of these letters stands for something. The N is neighbors and friends. If you think about a neighbor or a friend you have. So for example, if I met Tom and I were to think, oh, I have. I have an Uncle Tom. I can't make that association. Between Does he own a cabin? Yes. An interesting choice. <laughs> yes. my, the, between my Uncle Tom and Tom Rose over here. And then the A is anyone famous. So back to Tom, I might associate Tom Cruise. All right. With you all right. Pick, things are picking someone, up for me. Yes, yes. I don't like this acronym at all. No. I, I don't think, think, I don't I think th it's an amazing likeness. <laughs> I think this is a great acronym. And for the M, so we could go to you, Miro, oh. for the M, that's a mental image of some sort. So I know that Miro means I look in Spanish. I cannot tell you how many problems this caused in sixth grade when they got to this section of the book and Miro Latele was <laughs> one of the like choices in there. 
it still stings, actually. I don't know. So well, thanks for bringing up that painful well, childhood. But the thing about something right. like this, but the thing about something like this is, I don't have to tell you that I'm using this technique to remember your name. Uh, I right. do this internally, yeah. and I may picture you looking in a mirror. Oh, I find that very imagery very hard to come to. No, please. <laughs> and what about ENS? ENS are two different mnemonics. I, I call it early Ellen and silly Willie, basically using alliteration. So if I were going to say that's Mad Miro or for silly Willie, anything that rhymes, if I say Tom the Bomb. Tom the Bomb, that's Tom right. The bomb, that those are associations I can make. And just by making one association with someone, you are way more likely to remember their so name. So just th right. just going through the mental process of doing this when you meet someone. Yeah. Wow. So when I meet somebody and it's like, I meet you, you say your name, and then it, like I'm going to have to space out for a moment when I'm like... And you'll get better at it. Yeah. And it'll take you two seconds. You'll as soon as, And you'll have certain ones. Every time you meet will be Uncle Tom. Nice. Okay, well, I'm going to put this into practice, and we'll see if I get more jobs. Well, that's awesome. So, <laughs> Allie, you're, you're available for training at uh, speakandwriteclearly.com for, uh, for anyone who's interested, um, for yourself or for your organization. And uh, what's on your radar this weekend? I'm going to Montreal. Oh, awesome. What's, a, what's in Montreal? There's Nuit Blanche. It's an all-night art festival. Super Psyched. cool. Yeah. Oh, that's very awesome. Yeah. Wow. What Where is that? In Montreal. Oh, right. In Sorry, I missed that. You said that. No. <laughs> you, were, you were associating her name yeah. with something right there. Right. Keep keep the focus, dude. What's keep on your focus. radar? Uh, I'm doing my taxes this weekend. <laughs> dude, nice. me too. It's horrible. <laughs> I, think you, I think you've got a better weekend I plan. Will. All right. Well, Allie, do you want you want to you want to take us out today? Okay, I'm Allie Shri Allie Friedman uh -huh. at Speaking Right Clearly, and I'm Miro Kaz, a cough. <laughs> I'm the real Tom Rose, and, and you've, you've been, been watching, watching the, the NBA, NBA show. show.